أما في مجال التصنيع الدوائي فقد كان من الضروري تسليط الضوء على القطاع الطبي والصحي بالكومسة لا سيما في ظل التحديات التي فرضتها جائحة كورونا وبناء عليه قدمت نص مقترحا لإنشاء لجنة الصحة بسكرتارية الكومسة كما استضافت الدورة الأولى للمؤتمر الطبي الإفريقي الذي تنعقد نسخته الثانية حاليا لبحث سبل الاستثمار في هذا المجال الحيوي. As for pharmaceutical, uh, it has been very necessary on the medical and health sector in the Comesa, especially on the backdrop of the challenges posed by coronavirus. Accordingly, Egypt has proposed um, the establishment of the health committee in the Secretariat of the Kamesa. Egypt has also hosted the first round of the African Medical Conference, uh, of which its second version is being now convened to probe all ways of investments in this vital sector. Fadlan, عن تزايد الاهتمام الذي وجهته مصر للاستثمار في توطين صناعة الدواء واللقاحات وصولا للإعلان عن تقديم مصر ل 30 مليون جرعة من لقاحات فيروس كورونا إلى الدولة الأفريقية الشقيقة وبما يؤكد دور مصر كمركز إقليمي لتصنيع اللقاحات الطبية. In addition to that, Egypt even more attention by directing investments to the localization of pharmaceutical industry and vaccine industry, reaching. Um, the announcement of providing Egypt's providing 30 million vaccines uh, of, uh, of Corona to the brotherly countries of Africa, the matter that really underscores the vital role of Egypt as a regional hub for medical vaccination industry. <laughs> فليس خافيا علينا حجم وعمق التحديات التي تواجهها بلادنا لاستدامه السلم والامن وهو ما بات يفرض علينا الالتزام بعدد من المحددات والمبادئ الرئيسيه واهمها ضروره احترام حق جميع شعوب الدول الافريقيه في الحياه وتسويه النزاعات والصراعات والقضايا التي تهدد هذا الحق الى جانب الحفاظ على مؤسساتنا الوطنيه باعتبارها العمود الفقري لاستقرار الدول وامن شعوبها وضمان مصالحها العليا. Ladies and gentlemen, as for peace and security, it is obvious that we are facing magnitude uh, of challenges um, that are posed, posing on the sustainability of peace and security in our countries, the matter that requires us to commit to a number of parameters and main principles, most importantly, the necessity to respect the right of nations of the African countries to life, the importance of settling disputes, conflicts, and issues that are threatening this right to life, in addition to preserving our national institutions as they represent the backbone of the stability and security of our countries and our people and ensure our highest interests. We have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people مع الأطراف الفاعلة والشركاء الدوليين وعبر الانخراط في الآليات القائمة لضمان التنسيق بينها وصولا لتحقيق هدف السودان الآمن المستقر واتصالا بذلك تستمر مصر في استضافة أبناء دولة السودان الشقيق وأنني أدعو كافة الدول لتوفير الدعم اللازم لأشقائنا في هذه اللحظة التاريخية الدقيقة Consequently, I'd like to indicate the last developments in a number of our countries, most notably the brotherly country of Sudan, that is undergoing certain challenges requiring us to consolidate to support the people of Sudan. In this, at this point, 
I'd like to emphasize that Egypt is undertaking its responsibility uh, to, uh, towards Sudan as an immediate neighbor. And Egypt is exerting all endeavors with all active uh, international partners and through engaging in the existing mechanisms uh, to harmonize between them with an aim to reach uh, the secure and stable Sudan. In relation to this, Egypt continues to host the children and the men and women of uh, the brotherly country of Sudan. And we, I call upon all countries to provide the necessary support to our brothers and sisters in this critical moment of history.